my record label's called Eleven Records, and I just celebrated the eleven year anniversary of the first time that I ever played a concert like the the thing I do now. Um, so that, that's why it was on the the website a bunch right now. But um, normally I'm a little bit quieter about the elevens. I mean, yeah, it's it's a weird number that that in my life, um, for sure. I, I feel like numbers have qualities. Like, for whatever reason, like a number like 10 or 12 to me seems like a very masculine number. I don't know why. Like, like because they're very logical. They, they like they not not to say that men are a certain way, but like like the quality of masculinity. Like that there's a certain like like order and and like like chopping things up into divisible pieces for whatever reason. Whereas 11 is a more mysterious number. You know, it, it doesn't. Like where do you where do you put it? Like you can't really divide it up into pieces. You you can't. I mean, do you use that to measure things? We we don't very often. So I, I thought it would be fun to celebrate my 11 year anniversary. So who who was out there celebrating with you? I know you had some other musicians. It was most of the people I've worked with, um, or most of the primary people that I've worked with in in the last 11 years, um, which is a, a whole score of musicians in in the the area here. Um, and then um, some of the other touring musicians that I know, um, Amanda Palmer, the singer from the group The Dresden Dolls, um, this fellow Reverend Payton from Reverend Payton's Big Damn Band, um, other friends came up from you know, California and the East Coast. It, it, it was just a very special, big little night. And you play the accordion, so when you've played with these people in the past, is that what you've been bringing to music you've done with them? I, I play all sorts of things. I don't really consider myself to be an accordion player. Um, I I play whatever makes sense in a situation. But um, it is the thing that sort of it catches people's attention, and, and it kind of defined me uh, the, the way that I perform um, on the street, at least when I first started doing this. Wow. Would you be willing to play something for us with the accordion? Sure. You bet? Yeah. The song's called The Last Song. Yeah. 
We've been looking at the symptoms for a while. Baby, she's heavy. Um, so I have I to ask. Has a hat too. I, I, has a hat? I, I don't usually play without a hat on, but. And you like mentioned it. Bumper Shoot. You will be playing there uh, I'll be playing this time around on Monday, I believe, at Bumper Shoot um, at the Bagley Wright Theater, which I'm really and excited have you, about. Have you played there before? Yeah, they, they didn't tell you anything about that. They did not know. Um, a big part of how I got started doing what I do was by busking at Folk Life and at Bumper Shoot. Um, which is a big part of how it was, it was really important in building my fan base in Seattle early on. Um, and I guess six or seven years ago, I, um, I led a crowd into the International Fountain um, during one of my shows, and the crowd kind of pushed me up on top of the fountain, and I, I climbed up on top and, and got arrested, and and kicked out of the Seattle Center. And I actually haven't gone back there since. And so I was kind of um, intrigued, flattered, and and happy when I got a very, you know, official invitation from from the folks at Bumbershoot and One Reel asking me to come and be a part of it this year and, and very much acknowledging the whole fountain thing. And I, I don't know. So And looking forward to what you're gonna bring back this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll see what I what I what kind of trouble I can do.